Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to another Cars 3 Diecast review. Today we have Reb Meeker, the tank coat number 36 racer. So guys, are you ready? This is the week. This is the final week of waiting for Cars 3. It comes out this Friday in the United States. I am extremely sorry for those outside of the United States that have to wait even longer. Like in the United Kingdom, it doesn't come out until like sometime in July. That's absolutely crazy. What's even more crazy is that in Italy, it doesn't come out until sometime in September. So I'm really sorry for those people. I guess you'll just have to wait because yeah, it just doesn't come out until that time. I don't know why they prolong it so much from like other release dates. Like in the United States, it comes out on June 16th. Australia, it's a couple days later. And I know for most of the world, it is in June, but it kind of spills over for some other nations. So I'm extremely sorry for those people. But anyway, let's bring the video back to a positive note and dive right into the review of Red Meeker. Now I already have this guy out of the package because I bought him from that Chinese eBay seller. If you guys have been watching my channel for you know a decent amount of time, a couple months, you know that one seller from China on eBay was somehow able to get a bunch of the Cars 3 diecast early and was selling them on eBay. So I bought this one from that person. Of course, so I had to get another one in the package. Of course, that's how I do it. I love just opening one to enjoy and then keeping one in the package to, you know, maybe save for later or put on display. I don't really like these for display though because if you put them all on your wall, it's just Cars 3, Cars 3, Cars 3 all across. You know, I like displaying, for example, the 2016 or 2017 main lines where you have the picture of the car on the package. But I do think that in later years, Mattel will go back to that packaging design and incorporate all of the Cars 3 diecasts into a line with Cars 1 and Cars 2. But anyway, that's enough talk about kind of random stuff. Here is the package. This video is being shot in 4K definition or resolution. Very, very, I guess, very, very good quality, of course. Hopefully, though, it works. Everything goes well. I've had some problems with the 4K lately. Hopefully, it is all working for you guys. The description here on the back reads, Blindside by a new generation of Piston Cup racers, Lightning McQueen finds himself suddenly pushed out of the sport he loves to get back on top. He will need the help of a young race technician, inspiration from the late fabulous Hudson Hornet, and guidance from a few old friends along the way. Some of the other cars that you can collect as singles are Cars 3 Lightning McQueen, Natalie Certain, Ponchy Wipeout, Buck Barringly, Jackson Storm, and Murray Clutchburn. I've already reviewed all of these except for Ponchy Wipeout. I've been postponing his review because it's a pretty complicated review since there are two variations of him. But he'll probably be... Yeah, he will be like one of my last Cars 3 diecasts to review as singles from the first wave. I also have Sterling, who I will review in the single package. Sorry, it got so bright right there. But I'll be right back with this guy on the table. No unboxing, obviously, for this video. Sorry about that, guys, but I'll see you in a sec. So here's Rep all opened up. He looks great. And now, like I always do, I'm going to take this time to show you guys the other racers that are the same model as Rev. So... We have Chip Gearing, Z Combustor Racer number 11, Rex Reveler, the Gaskets Racer number 80, and Bobby Swift, the Octane Game Racer number 19. So as you can see, same eye color, same expression, and same model, but extremely different paint jobs, and that's why I love the Piston Cup Racers. They're just so colorful, and I love them, especially Red because he has this very vibrant pink I really do like that, and it's actually very similar to the Cars 1 Tanko Racer, which I'm not a huge fan of. I wish they were a little bit more different. Like, if you compare Cars 1 Octane Gain to Bobby Swift, the differences are just absolutely out of the park. But, as you'll see in a couple moments here, the differences between these two are far and few between, unfortunately. I wish they were a little bit more different. And same thing with Gaskets, if you saw my review of that one, 
they're pretty similar. But anyway, let's start here with his appearance. So I'm pretty sure we have seen this guy in a trailer, in a blur, or from behind. I'll try to find a picture and put it on the screen here if I can. No guarantees though because I don't really feel like going through so much footage just to find a blur or the back of the car. Like I said, when Cars 3 comes out, we'll know like everything. We'll know where all these racers appear. So yeah, I always say that in my videos because, you know, it's the truth. Obviously, now that Cars 1, Cars 2 are out, and obviously they've been out for a long time, we can just go to like a nice website that they show like all the different frames and we'll see exactly where cars appear. So that will happen for Cars 3. We just gotta give it some time. Moving on to a different topic. As with all the piston cut racers in Cars 3 that are stock cars like Bobby Swift or Chip Gearings, they will be replaced by the next gen versions of the same sponsor. So for example, Bobby Swift will be replaced by the next gen Octane Game racer named Danny Suarez. And same thing with Combustor, but we don't know the next gen Combustor's name just yet. But for Tanko, we do. It was just revealed in the Cars 3 Driven to Win video game. I absolutely hate this name. Rich Mixon. It's almost as if they wanted it to sound like Richard Nixon. It's like, what? Why? If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'm not even going to explain it. It gets into American history. So just Google it and have some fun there. But anyway, Rich Mixon will replace Rev Meeker sometime throughout the movie. We'll probably notice a change sometime throughout the movie. It'll be like, oh yeah, that's not the stock car Rev anymore. That's Richard Nixon. I mean, Mixon. But yeah, it'll be pretty cool to get that die cast. I don't quite understand why they chose the next gen tank coat racer to be in the video game. That just seems pretty random to me because I don't believe that Reb or Rich will speak in the movie. They'll just be background racers. Now, Rich did the same thing to Reb that Reb did to Eugene back sometime during the event between Cars 1 and Cars 3. There could have been another Tanko racer in between the two of them, but it's unlikely. So here is Eugene Carbareski. He is the, or he was the Tanko racer in Cars 1. And as we're reviewing Reb, we'll also be comparing him to Eugene. And just so you guys know, just to go over the releases for Reb, he is in the Desert Race 11 pack and available as a single. So that's pretty much it so far, but he'll most likely get re-released sometime in the future as well. All right, so let's take a look here at the logos on the hoods. You can see on Eugene, Sue's upset tanks, tank coat there. And pretty much like all of the Cars 3 stock cars, they have much more of a three-dimensional logo that looks updated and a lot more modern. So the font looks to be very similar. It's just more gradient now. As you can see, it was completely white before. Now it's like, it's smaller, first of all, and then it's white and fades into that pink there. The gas can behind it is kind of like dark pink up here and kind of fades down to a lighter pink on the outer edge there. Before it was just one shade, so it's more shaded now, more updated, very, very cool. You still have the slogan there, Sue's Upset Tanks. I really like that because it's a lot easier to read than that. Like that looks kind of blended together. Whereas this is very clear cut. Moving on now, taking a look at the headlights and the bumper here. Strangely, he does not have his number beneath the headlight like pretty much every other piston cut racer for Cars 3 does. You can see Chip there has 11 beneath the headlight. Rex Revler, 80 beneath the headlight. I don't know why Rev did not get that treatment. For all the Cars 1 racers, for the most part, they had their numbers on the headlight because they were just stickers like 36, was just a sticker, just like the headlight, as there was like a huge discussion about that in Cars 1, where like Sally was making fun of him for having stickers, and that's why she called him stickers and whatnot. So it looks like for Cars 3, all the racers have actual working headlights now, so I think that's pretty smart. On the sides here, oh, this is one thing that I wish was not removed. The pink, awesome, beautiful rims there. Rev now has silver rims. Very, very disappointing to me. I think that maybe they were, I don't know, they were thinking that it would have been just too much pink to handle for one racer, but I don't think it would have been. 
like for Eugene, he has a lot more white, the pink is faded, whereas that pink's a lot more vibrant, so I can kind of see where they're coming from. The silver doesn't look bad, but I really do like those pink rims. But anyway, he does have light gear tires, they both do. Light gear on the fenders there on both sides. Moving toward the back here, 36 is still his number. The number looks very, very similar, but it's a little bit more three-dimensional. You can see the shadow on this side of it there whereas it was just flat on the paint before. Reb has a lot less contingency sponsors than Eugene did. Probably Eugene has twice as much. You can see for Reb only the Piston Cup, Vitaline, Revolting, RPM, Nitroid, Octane Game, and Clutch A. Now one thing I really do like about Eugene is this kind of gray and white background. You can see the white stripes there. There's this other white stripe that leads toward the back here and kind of has the gray drool down from it. It's kind of weird how it is and how it blends in with the pink. Just kind of strange, but I still really do like the look of it. Kind of gives it a nice, I don't know, it splits up the pink so it's not too much. You guys know what I'm saying? You can also see that orange arrow right there that indicates to the pit crew where to lift Reb up at to do work. The Cars 1 racers did not have that. It's a lot simpler on the Cars 1 version here for Tanko. You just have this black line that leads toward the back with the white from the grill there. And then the background of the pink, you just see some white smudges there. I like that, but definitely not as much as Eugene here. Actually, I'm getting their names mixed up. As much as Reb. The pink and the white are like blended together. It's kind of like a mixture. It looks very cool rather than just having white smudges. Right, let's get an up-close comparison there. Let's take a look at the roofs. You have 36 right there, 36. Both have, actually, Eugene does not have any roof flaps, surprisingly. Reb definitely does. I love how that white is just mixed in there. It looks so much better. Of course, moving toward the back here, you have the Tanko logo with the gas cap. Pretty similar to Cars 1 there. And the Tanko logo here is actually different because it only has a spout coming out the bottom end, whereas here it's top and bottom. But on the hood, it was top and bottom. So kind of weird there. Toward the back here, you have tank coat. Just the leathering and not the gas cam. That's a difference. There are the back windows there. And on the bumper here, you just have the tank coat logo. And it's so small, they even crammed in the slogan, Sue's Upset Tanks. Yeah, that's a slogan. They crammed that in there right there. I don't know why they did that, but... I do like how they handled it with Cars 3 a lot better. You have Tanko and then Sue's upset tanks with the 36 and a built-in camera to get some super cool shots of racing from behind. They did that in Cars 1 with Sidewall Shine. I'll try to put a picture on the screen here. And so it seems like they're doing the same thing, but a lot more for the Cars 3 racers. So like I said at the beginning of the video, these two are very similar. Like if you just look at them from... Uh, distance they are pink and white same numbers completely different models though but I just wish the paint jobs were changed up a little bit more still very nice I like this pair but just nothing compared to Octane Gain for example because the differences are just so extensive but let me know in the comment section below do you prefer Eugene Karbaraski from Cars 1 or Reb Meeker for Cars 3 Reb definitely wins this one for me he looks pretty awesome I really do like his design. I also like how the pink spoiler is darker than the rest of them. They did that for the Cars 1 version, even though it came out to be a little bit more orange than pink. All right, guys, it's time to do a team showcase because Tank Coat actually has a relatively big team, especially if you compare it to some other racers that have zero team, as I like to say, like gaskets or retread, etc., etc. So we have Jerry Drive Chain. The Tanko Pity released way back in 2009. I really like the look of this guy because he can go with either Reb or Eugene because the pink just really hasn't changed much. And even with Eugene, the pink is so different anyway. Like it's a really vibrant pink, whereas the pink on Eugene is a lot more faded. So I feel like the rims match him a lot more than his actual paint job. We have the tires there, matches that. Maybe Jerry can hook Reb up with some nice pink rims. I think that would be pretty awesome. And here's the toolbox, looking pretty cool. Of course, it has the Cars 1 Tank Coat logo to match Eugene and Jerry the Pity. 
I really do like how modern Rebs logo looks. It looks a lot better in my opinion. Now on the back, you just have the silver lining for the shelves there. Pretty cool team here, and that is all from Mattel, but I do have this factory custom from a Chinese eBay seller for a Tanko Crew Chief. I'm not a huge fan of this one just because I feel like he should be pink and not white, but you know what? It's the best we're probably ever going to get, so I really do like him actually. You have the Tanko logo there, it's the Cars 1 version, and you have 36 on either side. No headset, but... Yeah, the Chinese factory workers did not implement headsets for their little line of crew chiefs. But still, I think he actually looks really good with these three here. And actually all four of them look great together because the white really contrasts from all this pink going on. So there you go. There is Team Tang Coat as of 2017, maybe with Reb now in the mix and the next gen Tang Coat Racer will get maybe some more pities, perhaps a hauler. There was supposed to be a Tang Coat hauler, but it got canceled in 2010. Very, very sad. And just so you guys know, this was the most recent release of Eugene, the Cars 1 version of Tang Coat. It was in the 2016 Piston Cup series. The link to my review of him will be in the description below. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was definitely a good video to make because I like Tanko in general. I just wish they had a little bit more different and diverging paint jobs. And so guys, I'll see you next time for another video. I do apologize if I sound a little bit weird in this video. Like maybe I was rambling on or repeating stuff. I'm just really tired. It has been a long weekend. I've worked every day this weekend, including Friday, you know, out on the country club. So, you know, I made some money, probably just going to spend it on cars. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a great day. Are you on summer vacation yet? I know a lot of people are those in the United Kingdom. I'm sorry. Again, I don't know why the United Kingdom is just suffering right now. Cars 3 does not come out until July. A lot of the schools are still in session. I'm sorry for you guys over there. But anyways, that's so off topic. I'll see you guys next time in another video. Bye now.